All right, so with our remaining time today, we're gonna talk about 9.6 and solving a right triangle. So today we're gonna kind of, it's bringing together the things that we've done from um, the past couple of days of finding missing angles and finding missing sides on right triangles. We kind of broke those apart and focused on them separately. Now we're gonna bring it all together, including Pythagorean theorem and everything. Um, to do something called solving a right triangle, which is basically when you are given a couple pieces of information about a right triangle, you have to find any side or angles that are missing. So it's basically the same thing we've been doing, but with finding more information about the right triangle. Um, and then tomorrow we're gonna move it more into word problems. Um, if we have time today, we might touch on that slightly. Um, but anyway. Here we go, solving a right triangle. Um, oh yeah, it'd be helpful if you could see what I write. Where'd it go? Oh, come on. Gotta love technology. All right. Okay. So solving a right triangle, we're gonna use the same kind of uh, sine, cosine, tangent stuff that we've been doing and also the Pythagorean theorem um, and stuff like that. So uh, there's gonna be kind of two different main scenarios that you see, so we're gonna go over both of those scenarios today. And we also have to remind ourselves, so ka toa, that sine is opposite over hypotenuse, that cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse, and that tangent is opposite over adjacent. So those are some things we wanna remind ourselves. And then also the Pythagorean theorem, a squared plus b squared equals c squared, or leg squared plus leg squared equals hypotenuse squared. So those are some things that you typically wanna have nearby while you're doing this sort of a problem. Okay. First example, got our right triangle going here. We might be given this kind of information about a triangle and be asked to find all of the missing pieces. So we might be asked to find the length of side AB, the length of side BC, and the measure of angle A. Okay. So this would be considered solving the triangle. And this is not too different than what we've done already because in our examples for finding a side, when we were missing a side, we found both missing sides. So this is not too much further of a leap because all we're doing now is finding also the measure of the extra angle. Um, or the extra, um, yeah, the only extra thing we're doing is finding the measure of the missing angle, which is uh, pretty easy because we know that the angles on a right triangle add to or on any triangle, add to 180. So um, the first thing I would do here is assign variables to AB and BC. So I'm gonna call ABX and BCY. So then this is just kind of hopefully jogging our memory a little bit. Um, we know that the angle that we have, angle B, I wanna label my sides with respect to that angle. Remember, that was our first step when solving for a missing side. So uh, with respect to the angle opposite 
adjacent hypotenuse. So then I'm going to set up two equations, one to help me solve for x and one to help me solve for y. So for x, we're dealing with opposite and hypotenuse. Because opposite is the side that we know, hypotenuse is the side we're looking for. So am I using sine, cosine, or tangent to solve for x? Which one works with opposite and hypotenuse? Yeah, sine, because we're working with opposite and hypotenuse here. So that means I'm going to set up sine of 43 equals, because the angle always goes inside, opposite over hypotenuse, so 13 over x. And then we have to solve that equation. So I'd multiply by x on both sides. We get x sine of 43 equals 13. Then we divide by sine of 43 on both sides. And we get x equals, and then we put this 13 over sine of 43 into the calculator. So 13 divided by sine 43 gives us 19 point, uh, 19 .1 if we're rounding to the nearest tenth. So that's one of our missing sides. Then to find the other missing side, you can either do this same process again or you can use the Pythagorean theorem. Either way is fine. I'm going to use this process because I think it's a little bit quicker than Pythagorean, but anyway. Um, if Pythagorean theorem is easier to remember for you, feel free to use that. For y, we're dealing with opposite again, but y is the adjacent. So if I'm working with opposite and adjacent, which trig function should I use? Opposite and adjacent. Which one uses opposite and adjacent? Well, if we look at so ka toa up here, sine's opposite over hypotenuse, so it's not that one. Cosine's adjacent over hypotenuse, so not that one. Yeah, tangent, opposite over adjacent, because it works with both of these. So we're going to set up an equation. Tangent of 43 equals opposite over adjacent 13 over y. So we're going to do the same exact process to solve this thing as we did over here because the, um, the variables in the denominator. So we'd multiply by y on both sides. If you've already sensed the pattern here, like we talked about a bit last week, you might note that at the end, we're going to go 13 divided by tangent of 43. So if you want to just jump to that step, you can. So 13 divided by tangent 43 is what we type into the calculator. And we should get 13.9. So that's our other missing side. And then to find the missing angle, we just have to go 180 minus 90 minus 43. Or you could just do 90 minus 43. You would get the same thing we get 47. So that means measure of angle A is 47 degrees. All right, so that's one kind of solving for the missing side or solving a right triangle one way it could look. All right, and we are running short on time. I'm gonna go through the second example real quick, and then the homework assignment's gonna be in big ideas, and I'll post that 
uh, as soon as we are done here. It's only 10 questions today in there. But anyway, real quick. Here's our triangle. Here's two of our sides. We need to find the missing side QR and then measure of angle P, measure of angle R. Okay, so this is going to be a lot like those uh, the ones that we have done already with finding um, missing angles because like I like we did before in the missing angles one, we found both of the missing angles. We just didn't find the other missing side. So finding the missing side, what I would do here is Pythagorean theorem real quick. So missing side, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Remember, c is always the hypotenuse. So 13 is going to be c. So we'll have 12bb, and the missing side can be a. So we have a squared plus 12 squared equals 13 squared. So we square those numbers, we get 144 and 169. We subtract 144 from both sides to get a squared equals 25. Then lastly, we take the square root on both sides to get a equals 5. So our missing side is 5. Then to find the missing angle, we do just like we've been doing on um, our other missing angle problems. So to find angle P, we want to label the two sides that we have with respect to angle P. So this would be the adjacent to angle P. This would be the hypotenuse. So adjacent and hypotenuse means we're working with cosine, specifically cosine inverse. To find angle P, I want to take cosine inverse of adjacent over hypotenuse, so 12 over 13. So in my calculator, I would type second cosine, get the cosine inverse, 12 divided by 13, and we get 22.6 approximately. Then to find angle R, you just go 180 minus 90 minus 22.6 to get your other missing angle. And you would get 67.4 degrees for angle R. So that's really the only difference here. We're solving for one more piece of information, either using Pythagorean theorem or by subtracting from 180. Okay, so today's assignment, uh, I'm going to post it real quick and then we're getting out of here. Okay, so if you go back to Google Classroom and you might have to refresh the page. Here it is in Big Ideas. Practice 9.6, there are 10 questions. And they're all like this, where you have to find the measures of angle A and B, and then also find the uh, measure of the missing side length. Um, okay, so you guys have the rest of uh, today to work on this. I know it was a short class, so sorry. But tomorrow, if you have questions, we can go over any questions you guys have. All right. See you guys tomorrow.